Me and my sister come up in the kitchen, fresh off of wood, because that's all she really liked to smoke. She must be living good. Then she started to get creative as she looked through the fridge. We both high and hungry, damn near tore the dough off the hinge. She said, Alfredo or tomato, bro, which one would you rather? And in a matter of a minute, the materials gathered. I said, Alfredo, sis, but only if that shit is from scratch. She said, you know me, boy, don't even try to play me like that. I enter my two cents and then I get up out the kitchen. That's her only rule I follow. She don't like nobody in it. In a minute, I know I'm finna be slapping shit up to occupy my idle mind. We just start chopping it up. Talking about ghetto fights, college nights with the Hennessy. Came to conclusions about how ain't shit niggas really be. Talked about what it was like in the queer black man plight and how the healing came about without the therapy. And about how her daddy a whole nigga and my daddy a scary one. Our stepdaddy be shit and we just glad her mama married them. Discussed our younger days as her onion sauteed. And imagine how this pasta about to go very dumb. Aromatic teases knew this food would be divine. I offer my assistance, my little sister declined. So my gums keep bumping and I keep talking my shit. Present scenarios opposite of protagonistic. And then she offer affirmation, but she give me her critique. I swear my sister's personality is not for the meek. Especially be when she fuck with you and when she off the gas. Cause she don't sugarcoat shit and she ain't kissing no ass. And this particular day she be exceptionally gone. So she'll hype a nigga up, but she gon' tell me when I'm wrong. It ain't no question. She gon' tell me what I need to know. That's why I love her y'all. That's what I need my sister for. But when she said the food was ready, should have seen my face. Present the heaping portion of pasta upon a paper plate. And when I said my grace, I prayed that only love would have cost her. Cause fuck a foot, she plopped the whole twat in that pasta. Threw the fuck down like somebody granny would. They kind of got the arms that you could tell her macaroni good. Assignment overstood, but those who understand know that she keep pieces of me. So she ain't never been no hoe. And so we must have towed the pasta up and then we left it whole for dead. Cause it was quiet in a bitch. I'm talking about no words said. And in my head, I said another prayer that only good things will come to my sister for her overall well-being. I pray she only know peace and sleeps unbothered at night for no relationship woes and all her niggas act right. I pray for wishing over visions that derive from within and stay in constant realization of the goddess she is. Yeah. Yeah.